well with you today i'm coming with some commentary on love and marriage huntsville but before we get into it please take this time to like and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever i drop a video or go live and know that all things on this page are alleged and in my opinion it is for entertainment and commentary purposes only now let's get into it so Martel, he, like, his thought process baffles me. And I get it because, you know, like the saying says, you can't make sense out of no sense um, or idiocracy um, or stupidity for that matter. And I've stopped trying to make sense out of it because it makes my head hurt. Martel tells lies and he hopes that people just run with it. And he has been successful. I mean, there's plenty of people who run with the lies and treat Mel according to what he says it is. Um, and then there's those of us who have sense. That's just that on that. But let's get into this clip that was released. Um, and then we're going to bring it on back to kind of debunk the things that he's saying because it doesn't make any sense so let's get into it are y'all still going through this man what do you think the problem is i don't martel she, she, she don't want nobody seeing that she's actually working with me in terms of effective co-parenting she don't want nobody to see that she don't want nobody to see that she's being nice or cool with me now first off i want to address the elephant in the room why are y'all both in there wearing scullies? Like y'all cold. Martel, were you unable to pay your utility bills again? Because y'all are looking very cold. Okay. Um, and, you know, according to your pick me's, they seem to think that you can buy things with your looks. So why aren't you paying your bills with your looks? I'm just wondering. But nonetheless... You know everything that he said in this statement was a bold-faced lie. Why? Because we've seen Mel try to co-parent with him and have no problem with it. Like this clip. I think that people look at us and be and feel like they can attack. Yeah, you know, no, you, we're not divided when it comes to our when children. When it comes to our children. No, we're yeah. not. There is some type of responsibility and accountability. Yeah, because if y'all don't move, we, we don't will move. move. See? <laughs> Listen, co-parenting is not easy, but it is nice to know, you know, that Martel and I can rally together for the sake of our kids at times. So Martel, you know, the statement you made had absolutely no truth in it at all. You sat on that same very couch last season, last season, which means this was all of last year. And y'all had the discussion of, you know, coming together, especially for the sake of the kids. Like, she had no problem with you. So to sit here and try to act all of a sudden like she doesn't want people to know that y'all get along is utterly ridiculous. Like, utterly. But that's not where it ends. I feel that our communication has gotten a lot better. Over the last month and a half, I think, you know, we need to um, really keep that going because it helps the kids out tremendously, you know? Well, I appreciate you starting to respect the boundaries and, you know, giving, putting some of the respect that I've been requesting. Since the communication has been better, I'm going to take the kids to Destin, Florida. You know, maybe you can come and um, enjoy with them for a couple of days.
I appreciate that. So over the years, the family always had great vacations in Destin. So, you know, it meant a lot to me for Melly to invite me. Just because we're divorced doesn't mean that the kids should miss out on family traditions. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you don't want them to miss out on family traditions. Is one of those traditions that you speak of living in the same household? Because I know your trifling snake ass would try to pull that stunt, in my opinion. Um, but you should have thought about them missing out on family traditions back when you was out creeping in the streets, okay? Um, so, whatever. As we can hear, Mel had no qualms not only sitting down and talking to him, but inviting him to a family vacation. Now, y'all can say what y'all want about Mel, but one thing we can always say is she has always been consistent, okay? She has been the most consistent one on this cast. You get the same thing from her every time. And she said in this statement, I ex I appreciate the fact that you're accepting my boundaries. That's Martel's problem. He doesn't accept her boundaries. And this is, in my opinion, why they're in the situation that they're in. He wants to push himself onto her. And she's like, no, we're not doing that. Hence why I made the statement about him probably wanting to move in. Because he's the type, you give him an inch, he'll take a mile. Now that y'all are getting along, and again, I do believe that he's sabotaging the whole babysitter situation because he wants to be the only source. And then he'll slide it on in there to be like, well... I might as well move in so that way the kids don't got to go back and forth and I could just be the living babysitter. But that's not going to work, Martel. Okay? Just giving you a heads up now if you don't know already. But nonetheless, Martel, in order to get something, you have to give something. You ex you um respected her boundaries. That way she was able to let her guard down a little bit and give you a little bit. She extended an invite to a vacation that she paid for fully. You didn't put a dime towards it. And, you know, again, because you're such a pushy person, she let her guard down and you thought that was grounds for you to um, now invade her privacy and do all of these things, which is not. Like, she tried to extend and be nice and co-parent with you, but you don't understand staying in your lane. She, you only did what you did as far as um, respecting her boundaries for a moment because your manipulative ass wanted to take advantage of her. You wanted for her to put her guard down so you can start doing your little manipulative dance around her. Like... It's crazy. If you started, why not finish it out? But again, because Martel only cares about what Martel wants, he was only doing it short term to get what he wanted out of it. Oh, and then had a nerve to turn around and start bashing her to everybody else, which is exactly what he did at the end of season two. As much as you went around talking trash about everybody, you told... Um, Marso and Tisha, that Tisha got all the surgery done and Marso still don't want her. You made the statement about Marso having 20 plus girlfriends and then turn around and try to act as if Mel was the one that did it all. Like, make it make sense. Make it make sense, y'all. So, again, he's very manipulative and people wonder why Mel don't want her him around her like she has every right to decide who she invites and doesn't invite to a party that she paid for same way she had every right to decide whether if she wanted to invite or not invite him to Destin she has made strides in order to try to co-parent with this knucklehead but at every turn he screws her over 
he went on that trip and did what when he came back? Told the op, her enemy, her medical condition. What else did he do? He went and seeked full custody. So she's supposed to surround herself with this. That's what y'all telling me. And not to mention all the other things that he's done. That, that's just to name a couple, okay? But y'all dumb tails want to sit here and say, oh, she should. No, not if he's doing vindictive, manipulative things. And I don't think it stops at the children, in my opinion. I think he does manipulative things as it pertains to the kids. Like I had stated that time they were in the car and he had them listing the things that he quote unquote taught them. And they're reciting it literally at the same time as if they had a checklist to remember. You know how when you were in school and they would give you the words to remember for the week or whatever, and it was in order? That's how it sounded like. Like he wrote it down. Well, he we know he can't spell. So he had Mariah probably write it down. And then they they were tasked with memorizing the list. So when he asked whatever question he asked, they were reading it verbatim but let's get back to this Dustin trip so you claim that she's trying to be difficult and doesn't want people to know that you guys are getting along yet she invites you to Dustin and your mother to Dustin and it's not like she's keeping it a secret I have been really trying my best to do my part to make sure my kids have some type of normalcy in terms of what they're used to. So I've been still taking them on vacations, taking them to Nashville, to Opryland, taking them to Destin, Florida. I try to make sure I continue to do that. So I planned a trip to Destin, like I do, um, for me and them and my mom. And I actually reached out to Martell and invited he and his mother as well. I met that, with his mom and invited her too. Wait, what? Like, wait, what? Like, what? Like, what? Like, what, what? Mel, what Mel, wait, wait, you cannot. This is a really big deal. No, you know, no, no. Why? Absolutely it why? is. Why? Like, why? Why do it? Because it is the best thing for the children. It may be the best thing for the children, but I want to know why she did it. Like, why you do it? Like, because she prioritizes her kids and she wants to keep their priorities high and first and foremost. No, she said that about going on the trip in general. I'm talking about bringing Martel and his mama. All right. So, this peace I don't even understand, how things don't even be bothering me, and I'm just in such a good place. Like, when you really happy, for real, for real happy, let me tell y'all something. It don't be mattering for real what other folks got going mm -hmm. on or doing. It does not disturb you. And so, for me, despite all the stuff Martel has done, I decided to kind of be a bigger person. Yeah, I mean, this is two years old at this point. Absolutely. A little bit of growth, mm -hmm. right? And to be honest, I've seen growth in him. Uh -huh. Like all the little petty, childish stuff he used to do, I guess because he was still so hurt and bitter that I left him. So he's been doing a lot better. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's give this a shot. Maybe you can, you know what I'm saying, come on a trip, invite your mom. My mom's coming. Right. And so that's what I've done, and we'll see. Are the kids excited? <laughs> Yeah. I know they're going to be happy. They're just, yeah. But do you think they're going to think, like, oh, damn, my mom and my daddy finna get back together? No, because no, I'll have that conversation with them. Yeah. You know, my kids, even though they're young, they're mature. Intellectually, yeah. they're very mature. Mm -hmm. Very mature. Anyone who meets and talks to them are like, y'all kids, something special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're very mature. So I will have the conversation with them to make sure they understand. You think they want that? You think they down there? I was good just want about that? to ask that. Mm, no. They don't no, ever ask don't. about it. Used to, but no. And, and let so me be very clear. Let me be very clear. This also doesn't mean, like, I need him to not get an inch and try to take a mile. Hopefully he don't start to feel like, oh, so I can call him anytime I want to uh, now and start back sending me pictures of us as a family and texting me things. Hopefully it doesn't open that door. I'm proud of you. God is good. We'll see how it turns out. <laughs> Now, does this sound like the voice of or the mind of someone who doesn't want people to believe that they're trying to co-parent with their ex-spouse? Like, it really doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up what you're trying to portray, Martel. And it probably made sense in the little pea brain of yours. But then once it came out, you, you know what? I don't even believe you caught it. I think you still was running with the notion that that would make sense to people. But I'm here to tell you, 
it don't. This lady sat here and told people that she was going on vacation, that she invited you. She had no qualms. She not only invited you, but she invited your mother. All of those are steps towards trying to co-parent in the right direction. But you still try to discredit her at every turn and make her seem like she's being difficult. She didn't have to invite you guys. She didn't have to tell everybody. If she was trying to make it seem like y'all had beef, then she would have kept that same energy across the board. And like I've said before, y'all can say whatever y'all want, but Mel has been the most consistent out of this crew. And then you see this one up here on here, um, the picture on the screen. She's acting so surprised and like, what? Why? But why? Yeah, this is the same person that had an issue with Mel or was questioning Mel um, going on vacation with him. But you think it's okay to be, what, going, celebrating New Year's Eve with him or New Year's Day? Like, make it make sense. You had so much disregard or so much pause when it came to Mel and Martell. But for some reason, you have no qualms with Martell. Why? It just, when you sit back and you think about it, all of them they really curl up up under Martel for some odd reason. And he ain't got nothing to offer them. So it makes you wonder. Like, I think all of them are um, his friends. All of them are his friends. All of them are his people. And she got in, in my opinion, under Martel, under the guy. You know, he told her probably how to pitch it. But I think, I highly believe that she's connected with Arion, like Arion herself said. Not us bloggers. Arion said it. We just repeated it. So run and tell Carlos that. But I bet you won't say nothing to Arion. Because she'll check up in that ass and expose you for the fraud that we know you to be. It gotta be. What else could it be? One thing about I'm trying to stay peaceful. No, because I don't mess up your peace. I don't say anything wrong. I don't do anything wrong. Oh, so you don't say anything wrong, don't do anything wrong? I beg to differ. Upon my arrival to Mel's house, things went left pretty quickly um, because I'm not going to be sitting on this hot porch, 100 degrees outside, um, talking about our children. You know, she comes to my house. I invite her in. I feel that certain things need to be reciprocated. You know, I got a little bothered by that. That's the problem, Martel you feel and this whole it seems like in my opinion relationship has been stemmed off of what you feel and what you want like you have to understand and realize that the world doesn't revolve around you and there's going to be things that you may want that's not going to happen grow the hell up but knowing how things are important for the children, I called Mel back for her to really come out and let's talk about this. It's really frustrating to me seeing Martel pretty much tuck his tail between his legs and bring his ass back to my house because I've been so far removed from Martel for so long, I don't even know how to handle his PMS mood swings no more. What's the deal? We've been pretty cool, we've been pretty cordial. We went to Florida, had a really good time. Why can't you? extend like an invitation like I did to you in terms of coming to the house. Like, what's wrong with that? I, you know, I don't want you. You don't want me. What's the deal? One, yes, we were in Florida. And coming back from Florida, I was opened up to drama that I ain't been opened up to and I don't know how long because I really mind my business, stay in my world. And to be quite clear, I had stayed away from you. So it was a whole lot of a whole set of drama over here that I hadn't had to deal with in a very long time since, that you've since apologized for. I appreciate the apology. However, it was still drama and triggering for me when I've moved 50 steps forward. And I don't need to go any steps back. Don't hold okay, so y'all heard her say that she was dealing with things that she hadn't since had to deal with because she separated herself from him. So, to the pick me's in the back. Oh, this is for the children. This is for the children. Yeah, she tried that when she invited him to Destin. She tried to do it for the children. And guess what? He does his toxic 
triangulation where he tries to pin this one up against that one and that one up against this one but the thing is is mel's so far removed that you can't make me do all of that anymore but what she doesn't like appreciate whatever is the drama that just came along with it so i again i just can't understand and, and like i can't understand why you guys don't understand why she for her mental health doesn't want to be in the same circle or whatever dealings with Martel. This dude literally does things to draw her back into negativity, draw her back into a negative space. And for those who always be so quick to say, oh, Mel's not over it. Mel's not healed. Mel's this and Mel's that. This is exactly what he would be drawing her right back into, negativity in a space where she's not healed. So do you want her to be healed or do you not want her to be healed? That's what I'm trying to understand. Oh, me accountable for, for someone else being disrespectful. Melly shared with me that she had COVID. My kids and my son, you know. Your kids and your son, Martel, isn't that the same thing? Is your kids and your son, is your son not your kids because you separated it? Like, Martel. Anyways, oh, this man. Oh, they all have been around each other. So I have to share that information with, with her, with my son's mom. You do. I agree. But not who had it. You didn't have to tell her that tidbit of information. But you felt the need and the desire to do that. Why? Because you wanted to be petty and nasty. Let's call a spade a spade. Let's cut the crap. Okay? Cut the damn crap. Stop acting like you told her from a place of concern and care because you don't care about CVID. You can't. There was no fear for CVID when your tail was running out, hunching everything that had a hole during it, okay? Because that's when that baby was um, conceived. So now all of a sudden it's so important. Now all of a sudden it needs to be noted. Shut the hell up, Martel, and miss me with the BS. But Melody can't hold me accountable because someone else is acting immature and things of that nature. Yes, she can. And you are in things of that nature. You are immature in things of that nature. You love to try to put, and you know, we all know that what he does is he, he uses other people. Like Mel said, he puts batteries in other people's backs. And then he lets them, he weaponizes them against Mel. And he sits back and he's like, you can't blame me. I don't, I don't know why they did that. You know exactly why. I am going to hold you accountable the same way. I'm going to hold you accountable the same way. I'm going to hold you accountable the same way that I held you accountable all the years in my marriage that I was disrespected by this person. And then you went and had a baby with him and kept with them, even though they kept disrespecting your wife the way i held you accountable then i'm gonna hold you accountable now because the things that were said wouldn't even have been known if it hadn't come out of your mouth see when so look, so, so, so you so you so, cannot hold me responsible for someone else being disrespectful the actions are from you because of your mouth so i am gonna well, hold you accountable. all right listen to this if i'm not working having to keep kids separated because of you getting covid what's wrong with me saying hey you know, like, I'm not thinking that somebody's going to go in. I don't know why not. Online. You've seen the history for how many years? No, listen. What was your purpose of tell going back to that person telling no, no, them that? No, listen. You got diagnosed with damn COVID the next day. And you... So what? And, and right. So what? Like... Again, you didn't care about CVID so much in the beginning. Now, all of a sudden, you want to act like, you know, she's such a bad person because she may have caught it. Like, dude, take several seats with your popping up, following ass, all of that that she said. And this is why Martel's full of crap and part of why Mel is done to a certain degree, obviously, co-parenting with him like she obviously has to co-parent with him but only to the degree that she has to she's not going above and beyond no more because of his toxicity and for those who don't see it clearly there's something wrong with you because ray charles can see this ish so now that martell is continuing his bash mel campaign and the fact that martell believes that 
Carlos likes Mel more. Cast member, do you have one? He does. Who he is better it? answer correctly, too. Yeah. <laughs> I think I know who it is, too. <laughs> no, no, no. It's Melody Hope. Yeah. Even though I think that's complete BS because Carlos clearly has to have hate in his heart for Melody, the way he treats her and her mother. Uh, I think his um, style of producing, I guess you can say, further shows this disdain. But I also feel like it's his way of showing his loyalty to Martell as well as the Scots. Because this isn't the first time we've heard that they've been clipping Miss Van's scenes. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but late last year, Miss Van did an interview with Lula and she was discussing the fact that they had Shrek up on the show and or just uh, they were talking about that, but also just a lot of private stuff that happened behind the scenes um, and people were privy and Mel was in the comment section going off. I did a video on it. I can't seem to find it to save my life, but I had the screenshot of the comment she had made about production uh, clipping her, defending herself. So this has been going on for some time now where they always just tell one side of a story and they seem, in my opinion, to be trying to make uh, Ms. Van and Mel out to look like fools. Um even in their editing, even with that scene at the birthday party. Like, they do it, and I get it's for TV, for ratings, whatever, but tell the truth and the order in which it happened. This is supposed to be reality TV, right? Not to be confused with Scott reality. <laughs> but in all seriousness, even this uh, raccoon lookalike has made comments prior to these episodes even airing, that we weren't really going to see Miss Van. Which makes me wonder, how'd you know? Seems like there's some backdoor conversations being had. But what these demons fail to realize is no matter how much they hate, how much they might try to bury them, what they didn't count on was these two beautiful women being seeds. So they're going to forever prosper for every demon six blessings but that's all i have for y'all in this one i'll catch y'all in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch y'all later peace Let's, I like chocolate girl all shades different flavors she a diamond and a pearl she a goddess with a mentor yeah cinnamon swirl she relate to what i've been through yeah